coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. All right, so Shandu was laying over there, yeah, in the puddle so, of blood. So, like I said, at that time, but he, all but, but hold up, he laying in the puddle of blood because of. Him and, and Marvin, Marvin altercation. Yeah. yeah, him and now, Marvin. From what I heard, I didn't see. I didn't see what, how Marvin hit him or what happened. Right. But all I see, what I seen was, like I say, I looked. I, I looked in that direction. I seen both of them, you know, squaring up. Right. But when I looked back in that direction, that's when I seen him, Marvin. After whatever Marvin did to him, I seen Marvin stepping off to go ha go handle somebody else, and I seen Shane do great lay down in that puddle, in that puddle, in that puddle, in that puddle of water, now, puddle of blood. Now, now remember that part right there, because you want you to pick up from that, because I'm gonna tell you from the perspective of what I heard that had happened when I heard that Tay and Run Run was fighting, and Tay was getting out on Run Run, and then he Run Run kept saying he wanted to stop, yeah. and Tay was like, Nah, ain't no stop. He just kept dogging. Yeah, actually, yep, you know and, what? And Run Run and, right. and the dude Shan do. Who had just got out of out, got out of jail, yep. out, of out of the hole, prison within a prison, out of the jail, and going home in a couple of the days. days. He was great. He, go home, he got man. with the little little mob, and he was like, you know, dudes. And from my perspective, this part is from my perspective. Dudes be wanting to oppress their homeboys so much because everybody's still just looking there, letting them do what they do. Mm -hmm. And he like, nah, I'll f this man, and pull this joint out, and like he was gonna get in it. And they say, Marvin. Pull this joint out, and as he advancing to break the fight up with the Bethlehem, Marvin can pull up to him. He turned to Marvin, and Marvin bop, 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 hit him three times. And from what I heard, he hit him in the chest, the neck, and in the, in, in, in the ass. Hey, look, and one thing about Marvin. See, Marvin wasn't the type that, you know, just from your experience, a lot of cats, you know, a lot of cats we did time with, a lot of cats love the big Bethlehem. Right, 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 the right. The big Bethlehem. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the scare attack. That's the scare attack. Yeah. A lot of them wouldn't use it. But they used to yeah, love it. Yeah, just to pull it, it out, it's gonna scare. It's gonna scare. Right. But Marvin wasn't that type. Yeah. At all Marvin Bethlehem. Yeah. Was short, small, like real, like hand looks small because if you try to grab it. Yeah. You it's gonna get, cut you. It's gonna cut you. You yeah. couldn't get your hands. You, right. you couldn't get your hands. Right. right. And every time, every time Marvin had a jump, it was always one of them short jumps. Right. Real short jumps. And he had it on him, man. I'm every, talking like a second skin. Yeah, that's, 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 he that take was it him. to the shower. He take it to Everywhere. the graveyard. He Everywhere. take it to the kitchen. He got it on, so I don't know what made them think that he won't gonna be like scrap. Right. I don't even know what even make them think that. He even told he even told me and Sky the day boom the, the day the incident before the whole thing kicked off. Bring your Joan outside. Yeah, and see what was so bring crazy. Bring your knife outside. What was so crazy about the whole situation after it was all over? Because you know, remember I ended up getting locked up for the situation. I ain't I won't yeah, do it. Yeah, but just that where I was from and my reputation. But I think. Just like now, just knowing, see, because I'm learning as we go about more about the situation. Mm -hmm. Because just like I said, he had told y'all, but being that I had them talks and stuff with him, trying to get him to, you know, calm down, yeah. that I never knew. Yeah. I ain't never know what was going on. Yeah, he told me. You know what I'm saying? I never knew what was going on. So when all of this transpired, I'm still in the blind. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm in my cell. Playing head up poker with Daryl, Daryl Jones from tall, tall the chest, yeah, the chest yeah, guy. yeah, the right. skin Daryl. So yeah. we playing head up poker. We gambling. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm trying to win this money. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you know he's so and he tall. loved to gamble head up. Love to. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And he's so tall. Yeah. That you know when you sitting on the bunk, the bed, the window right there, and my window right by the phone. Yeah. So he like and keep looking out. I'm like. I'm thinking he tried to throw me off in his hand. I'm like, yeah. what's up? He was like, man, I think, I think they rumbling out there with the knives, man. Yeah. I said, I'm gambling, man. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, all right. What you betting, man? Yeah. He said, man, I'm serious, man. They, they got something going on out there. I said, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. He said, man, bang, look out the window. Yeah. So I go, I look out the window. You all see I see is people just scattering, scattering. Scatter. Everywhere, like, everywhere. Like, what's going on? He said, oh. So I'm like, okay. He said, man, I, man, this is something going on. Yeah. So we pack up, pack up, boom, boom, boom. Because now y'all got to get out of the cycle. Yeah, you got to get out of the cycle. We go over there. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So by the time. you know it's coming. Right. <laughs> and by the time we get out the cycle, yeah. it, 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 like they was running around out yeah. on the yard. Dudes would start so running they, around in the park. When I tell you, man, it was, it was so chaotic out there, Joe, man. It was like, if you think about, when I think about going, it looked like roaches was, you know what I mean, scattered, scattered, scattered yeah. everywhere. It looked just like roaches, yeah, man. Yeah, because that, that's how much commotion was. Because you know, the yard used to be so packed. Because you talking about, 
You talking about two pods out there at one time, but it was more than two pods. Right. It, it can be the whole building out right. there. And at dudes one time. be climbing under the fence, fence and all that. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah, death, so, death was out there. Exactly. And man, what, what I remember most about that day, though, for real, when all that kicked off, this how this how much I knew that a lot of Virginia dudes hated DC dudes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So many cats was in the hole. Right. At that time, they was hauling out the window. Man, get them DC niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah, them yeah, DC yeah, niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, excuse my language, yeah, yeah, but yeah. man, yeah. that that kind of that, that let me know yeah, how much the they hate, really that but, much hate they but had. They for always us. have it, but they didn't display it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because. I want you to finish from where you was, but 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 I'm gonna let you know the part about like when it got to the, 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 in the park, uh, yeah. what happened in the park, and I felt it too because it was like I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to that part when you said, but so boom, pick up from where you was, where like when you seen him laying over there, the mob so, them scrambling around, and then what happened when you with, okay. with your situation, how you so, how you, you know? All right, so what happened was like I say when I look back over there and I seen Shan Shan do great lay down. In the puddle, and the next thing you know, and you say you look, it's a puddle. It it it's, it might have been water, but that whole water turned into a puddle of blood. Yeah, it started. It started. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't. I, yeah, red it, spot. a red spot of blood. A red spot of blood. Right. So, like I say, at that time I ran to Sky. They couldn't, you know, my cell part me and Sky the probably was the closest person I was, you know, right. with at the time. Boom, I, and at that time when they was uh, uh, when when the Richmond guys was surrounded around. Shan do, you know what I'm saying? I guess to check on him, see what's wrong with him. They was congregating at, you know, for for a few minutes trying to figure out what's going on. And the rest of us DC dudes, because like I say, Marvin told us to make sure we bring knives out, but we didn't take me, Scott right, didn't right. take no knives. We left them knives right up in that right, right up in that light fixture. Right. And like I told you, we was we was drunk. Right. So like I said, we out there, we out there unbeknown what was really was great take place. Right. You know, like we I took said, it lightly. Exactly. We took we took it real lightly. Right. We took especially me. Because y'all had the Bethlehem, but you didn't even bring them out. You didn't and you was out. told to bring, bring them out. Because exactly. that's what I'm trying to tell you. It is like a different world. But right at this point in time you're bit you know, you probably was thinking in your mind like, ah, this is just some more dude snatching man, ain't nothing gonna happen. Woo 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 woo. Yeah. But that's what that's, that's why I was saying that stay ready so you don't have to get ready, man. So after that when they congregate and the rest of the DC DC cats, we over at the fence because like by this time we see the police at the at the uh, at the fence. I mean uh, at the at the gate. Great unlock the gate, but they taking their time because they trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. all of them. Right. They trying to find out figure out all the parties involved. But we like man, y'all better hit open this gate, open this. Gate. Now we putting the press on. Right. Man, open this gate, open this gate. So it's, it's me, Scotty. And however many other uh, uh, DC dudes, and of course a lot of dudes that wasn't from DC at the gate trying to get up. Trying Everybody wanted to get up off of this yard because of all the commotion right. that's going on. So the the, uh, the police finally popped the gate, but at the, it's like simultaneously as they was popping the gate, the Richmond dudes coming around the corner. Now they come with all of them together. And the only thing on their mind, they had, they had Marvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. was at Marvin. Right. So what happened was, as soon as the police popped the gate, we rushed the gate. All of us rushed the gate. Me, Scotty, and B. B, yeah. Me, Scotty, and B run to the building. All the Richmond dudes chase Marvin down the gym. Right. Marvin get down the gym. I don't know what happened with Marvin down the gym, but I know they ain't, they ain't do nothing to him. Or they, right, they, right, could, right. They, they really couldn't get at him yeah. or, get, or get to him like they wanted from, from, to. Okay, well, stop. Remember that part. Because yeah. this, this is the part of the perspective that I heard. Okay. Okay, while they chasing Marvin down the gym, mm -hmm. right, they say Marvin get to to the gate, mm -hmm. and when he get to the gate, you know they got the gym gate. You can open, open it, close. close. They hit the button, yeah. And Marvin go in, but by the time he try to pull it close, one of the dudes got there. He trying to pull it over. So Marvin trying to pull it close, trying to pull when, it over, and, and, got and it got hit. Yeah. Dude hit him because the other dudes came and they hit him. Yeah. But why, why, when he hit him, Marvin jerked the jump and the jump closed. Yeah. That's how he get behind the, the gate, gate. Okay. and they can't get to him. And they can't get you to know him. What I'm saying? Like that. Exactly. Yeah. So after that, like I say, me Scotty. B, um, and a, and a maybe I think it was a, I might have been a, a couple of other cats. Uh, we 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 make it to the building. Now mind you, then they couldn't then they couldn't get at Marvin. They coming back to the building. Yeah, it's, right, still, right. it's still chaotic out there. The, the yard is chaotic. The, the the boulevard is chaotic. Right, right. Because now the police even scared. Because once we rushed it, once we had rushed the gate, the way we rushed the gate, the police straight panicked. Right, right. They just got out the way. Because I'm talking about we bum rushed that gate and man, it was just chaotic out there, John. Police 
Police running now. Right. They trying to they they trying to get clear of everything. Yeah. So me, Scotty, and B, and yeah, m m the main three that I that I remember, me, Scotty, and B, we we get to the building. We we was able to get in the building. We get up the steps to the park. Now, mind you, like I say, the Richmond dudes coming back. We know they on their way back at some point. Man, they would not let us in this park. And we we kept getting in the side port. They let us in the side side port. But they would not let us in this park. I don't know what happened with B. All I know is he I ended up. I, I, all I know is he ended up in the trash can. That's all. Okay. I don't know what. Look, I don't know where okay. he disappeared okay. to. I don't know how or when he disappeared. Okay, okay, okay. Look, so hold on right there. <laughs> now this is how it came to me. Now I seen the aftermath, but I ain't, I ain't seen the, the, the before. Yeah. But this is what told what happened. Okay, like when y'all running in the building, yeah. right? y'all trying to get us there. Yes, exactly. Y'all shoot upstairs to, 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 to try to get in the building. Mm -hmm. Beeb know the dudes coming. Beeb detoured. You remember the big trash can? The big trash that, can that's in the, the, the hallway. Yep, yeah, that's in the hallway. Beeb go jump in the, the trash, trash can, can and, and put, put the, the trash on. on. Put the top so on. So everybody run by him yeah. and come up there and whatever happened with y'all. Exactly. But then in the aftermath, I'm going to skip a little bit. And you, why would you stay where you at? Yeah. When it was all over. Beef come, I swear to God, man, I never forget him. Yeah. He come walking in the pod like he just dived out of a swimming pool with all his clothes Shoes on. on. Yeah. He, everything is wet. Hey, you know, you, you know, man, you, you know, you know, I know, I, I, I be talking to him now. Oh yeah, man. They, as a matter of fact, I can call him. I can oh, call yeah, Beef. Right, right, I can call B right now. B walked up in that joint, man, and dude was like, where, where you come from? And then later on, it was revealed he was hiding in the trash, trash can. can. Yeah. But he was sweating in the trash can yeah. so bad that all of his clothes was soaking wet. Oh, he walked up in the pod like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, what the? You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, but where, what so, happened? So like I say, like. I, it was me, Scott, and Beeb, and that's the, you know, I didn't see Beeb no more. Right, right. But like I say, my understanding was he was in the trash can. So at the same time, me and Scotty trying to get inside the park. We stuck in the Sally port. Stuck. The lady wouldn't open up the side, but now she's starting to panic because. But what is y'all saying to us? Y'all telling me? Like, look, like, look, okay, so at the time, at this before before the Richmond dudes even make it up the steps and two, and two right there. All right, so. We in the side report, side report. We tell her like, man, who open the open the open the part, open the part door, open the par door. She would not open, she she would not open the door, man, for some reason. So we stuck in the side report while we trying to get her to open it up. Next thing you know, we see the dude, we see the Richmond dudes coming, coming from, from the steps. Coming from the door, uh, coming from the steps. Instead of her opening up the par door, like we've been trying to get her to do, we man, I'm telling you, if we was there, we was there probably about 10, 10, probably say 10 to 15 minutes trying to get her to open up the par door. She would not do it. She just kept opening up the side port door, and by and by her doing, like I said, she was she was panic. She was right, really right, panic. Right. You know what I mean? She was she was she, was, she it, right. I don't know what was going on in, in in that lady's mind, but she just kept she like she couldn't focus. And they come up, and next thing you know, they at the side port. She opened up the side port again instead of opening up the park. Mm. And here here we are. It's me, Scotty. It's West and Psycho. West, me and West fighting. Psycho and Scotty continue their fight. Remember, I told you they was fighting right, outside. Right, right. So, so, I know Psycho had the, the like the, the brass, the I brass knuckle, he had not, some brass yeah, the brass knuckle, knuckle jump, not a uh, knife type jump. So you know, I can say Scotty, you know, Scotty had his business. Right, right. You know how you look old. You know when you think back on the whole situation. You know, Scotty had his business. You know he holding his own or whatever. So me, I'm watching that. But I mean, you know, you know, in the midst of it. But me and West fighting, and why man what now this is the part I remember I told you the old heads always told me younger keep your knife keep your eyes on a knife I didn't do that mm. but when me and West was fighting man I just lost complete you know drilling and pumping I just lost complete focus on the knife I'm just all I'm doing just throwing punches you see what I'm saying but at the same time I can't put no power behind my punches mm -hmm. right the whole time I didn't even realize that I'm getting stabbed right I'm not, I, I didn't even realize it because, like I say, my my adrenaline is going. It's, flowing, yeah. it's, it, it's going. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even realize the whole time. Even though we, you know, he's in front of me, we fighting head up. All my holes pretty much is in my back. But the whole time he still had, the, I, I, like I said, he had the knife in his hand and he's stabbing me because I'm close up on him. But he's stabbing me in my back. Right. All all my all my majority of my room. The only rooms that I have in in front of me is the ones. Is the ones when he pulled when he pulled a knife 
when he pulled back, and when I had got, when I seen the knife, and I and I grabbed for the knife, I grabbed the knife trying to take the knife from him. So we tussling with the knife. Next thing you know, like I say, I'm already I'm already hit up, and I didn't even realize. But I'm starting to lose blood. I'm losing a lot of blood, blood and strength and strength. So he snatched the knife back out. He snatched the knife back from me. And that's when he hit me right here, hit me in the main autumn, and he hit, he hit me right there, and then he hit me in my eye. He hit me, he hit me right up in the corner of my eye. So, uh, so how so many after, times did you get hit all together? I got hit, I got hit uh, approximately one, two, three, about eight times. Eight times. Yeah, five, five, five in my five in my back. Actually, no, five in my back. One in my arm right here. One of my arm. Five, uh, five in my back. And two, I can say right, uh, two right, one right here, and one and one right there. Mm, mm, mm. So, Hold. Mm. so, uh, so like I say, once he, once, once I realized, you know, what was going on, after he, after when he, when he pulled the knife back and he hit me the last time, he hit me right there. I was like, man, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, what I mean, I, I like threw my hands up because now, now I'm going out. Right. You see what I'm saying? I couldn't, you know, I, I'm really, I'm literally, I'm going out because I didn't realize, I even, I didn't even realize I was bleeding. Yeah, yeah or that you was hit that and many times. And that I was hit that many times, exactly. All I know is, I remember, I know, I, I felt that one. Right. You see what I'm saying? And I know this one. Right. I didn't even, I didn't even realize the arm one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, um, when after, after he hit me the last time, now I'm going out. I mean, I, all I was able to do was just grab a hold of him, grab a hold of him, but at the same time, I'm going out, Banky. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, man, that's it. That's it, man. So Scotty, Scotty, after Scotty and uh, Psycho got the, you know, after they finished their little, you know, back and forth or whatever, Scotty was like, man, go ahead, man. He, he good, man. Leave him alone. So uh, uh, after that, Wes ain't, Wes ain't even come at me no more, which, which I'm grateful for. Right, right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't even come up. So boom, I laid down on the floor right there in the side of the No, actually, as I was great laid down, so now you got the Lieutenant Robinson. I don't know if you remember Lieutenant yeah, Robinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lieutenant Robinson now made it up in the building. Like after all the commotion and stuff, so before all four, well, like I said, all fours was in the solid port. Now, now that Lieutenant Robinson made it in the, made it in the building, now I'm you know I'm pretty much bleeding and I'm going out. Lieutenant Robinson is at the solid port. He telling the female, he telling the lady in the booth, don't open up the solid port just yet. So he asking, he asking uh, a psycho and asking West, man, I'm not opening up the solid port until you give me the knives. Stop. That's what I'd have told him a thousand. Times, yeah. Them people ain't gonna save, save you. Nah, they and not. even when you getting assaulted, even when you getting stabbed with the Bethlehem, they gonna just stop and say, give me the knife. Nice. They yeah. not even worried about their lives. They worried about their own mm -hmm. lives. Yes. They don't want to open the door because they, don't, they because the dudes got weapons. Exactly. But what about the dudes that's in here that's bleeding to death? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They not going to save you, man. They going to sit there and let you die. Yeah. And they going to just be barking with their words, talking about do this, do that. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, it's real. That's why I tell y'all these stories, man, so y'all can get to understand, man. especially you young cats out here on these streets, popping these pistols from yes. across the street. It ain't going to be like that in there. Nah, you, it ain't going to be proximity. like that in there. Everything is close proximity. Yeah, go ahead, there. though. So, um, like I say, you got Lieutenant Robson at the side of Port Gate, you know what I'm saying, Ask, uh, telling uh, uh, Psycho and West, man, you know, give me the knives, give me the knives. So, they finally give him the knife, and the lady ended up opening up the side port. Like, man, by this time... Scotty holding me up. So when they opened up the side port, uh, 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 Lieutenant uh, 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 Robson had called for uh, 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 one of them, um, one of them gurney, gurneys, a gur yeah. one of them gurneys to, to carry me over medical. So I step outside the side port, you know, right there. I'm by, I'm by, actually I'm by the trash can where B was hiding that. Right, right. I'm right there. I'm literally right there. So, but I'm going. I'm, I'm to my, now I'm really going out. I'm losing conscience and everything. And Scott like, man, hurry up and get him some help. Hurry up and get him some help. So they finally get the gurney, the uh, the, the gurney. But Scotty hit too. Yeah, Scotty hit. Scotty, Scotty hit. Right. Up, but he not hit. He not hit, hit as, as bad, bad as you. you. Right. Exactly. So they finally get the jump. They get me on the jump. They rush me over to medical. Now, mind you, Scotty go go to medical with me. You know, he helped carry me over there and everything. We get over medical, and now, at this time, you know, my drilling and pumping. Now I feel now because I'm coming down a little feel bit. The pain. I feel not just no, not the pain. I feel the I, man, the, the the one he hit me right here. This was the main artery that he hit me in. Man, do you know? I feel that jump. It's like it's like a faucet. It's like a it's like a water fountain faucet. Right. And the jump just I'm talking about shooting out like it's a water fountain. Mm. I can feel it. 
I'm laying in this gurney, I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? But whatever I'm doing, I guess because of my adrenaline to pump it, but I'm coming down a little bit at the same time, I guess you can say, and I can feel that it, it's shooting up just like a water fountain. Mm. So I'm laying in, I'm laying on this gurney. Scotty like get some, you know, trying to get them give me some help. I got my eyes closed. I got my eyes closed because, you know, the, the jump right here. I, I ain't right. know how bad it was, but I just didn't want to open it up. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm relaxed. What what happened was at I know it's happening, all of it's happening fast. But I can feel myself kind of like calming. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going, I'm going through the motions. And at the same time, they tell Scotty, they, they take they take Scotty out the room. I don't even know what room I was in. I just knew I was over there in the administration building, over there in whatever medical room they had me in. Man, bang, when I tell you, man, I sat in that room, I I, I would say probably approximately at least 45 minutes by myself. Mm. They was waiting for me to die, man. That's crazy. Bang, when I tell you, they was, man, when I tell you people, man, they was waiting for me to die. Mm. They thought I was going to die. Right. They left me there for dead. Right. They took Scotty out of the room, and before the, before the, before they even got, uh, before they even got me some medical attention, uh, uh, man, I sat there for at least 45 minutes by myself. And like I say, and the only reason I think I was able to, uh, uh, the only reason I, I believe I'm here today because, like I say, I just... Something in me, I just, I just, you know, like I, I just calm myself down, mm -hmm. and this, this jump stopped leaking. Right. You know what I'm saying? It stopped leaking, but I'm, I'm like, you know how, you, like, like you in a dream type state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it was. I was in a dream type state. Right. And finally, when, when they get some medical attention, whatever, they finally give me, they, they, they had to medevac me to the hospital. Right. By right. this time, because like I say, I was in that room for so long that. I guess I guess it shocked them that I didn't die. Right. Isn't right. it because now mind you, that that gurney I'm laying in, now it's kind of filled with blood. I'm cause like I said, I'm leaking. Right. It's it's filling up. I'm laying, I'm actually I'm, I was literally laying in blood. In a pool of in blood. In a pool of blood. You know what I'm saying? So they finally get they finally give me some medical attention. They finally give me on the jump. Give me that now. At this time, towards the end, when they give me the medical attention, I remember this vividly. I'm going in and out. Some you know I'll come around, then I'm going back out. Right. Come around, I'm going back out. Found out when I get on, I remember get, I'm on a helicopter. They get me there. This one time I came around and get me there. Finally, I when I came I came back around again. I'm in I'm in the hospital. They got me on the table, and you know how I don't know if you I don't know if you ever experienced man being outside of yourself. That's how I was at, at that particular time when I was laying on that table. I was like I'm I'm standing outside myself. Man, I kid you not, man. One of the one of the most surreal experiences of my life. I'm standing, it's like I'm I'm there, I'm standing there watching it and listening to what's going on the whole time, but I'm unconscious. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So I flatline. Why I'm you know why I'm in there? I flatline. Go out. I'm go out. They bring me back, but at the same time, man, I'm telling you, Blank, this that's why I tell you it's a, it was a surreal situation. Mm-hmm. I can hear, I can literally hear them talking about me while I'm out. And when I come back to, this is no lie, this is no lie, bang. I said, man, y'all is some slow uh, MFs. And I didn't, that's how, that's, that was the first thing that came right, to mind right, right. when I came, when I came back to that time. Because like I said, I'm hearing them, but you can't I, respond. Can't, I can't respond. Right, right. And the first thing that came out of my mouth, y'all some slow MFs. Yeah. And that's when I came back to, and... Now, now their urgency had picked up because they realized I had came back too. Right. And now they trying they 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 putting in a little bit more effort to try yeah, to yeah, try yeah. to Yeah, Because in case you live, you gonna have something to say. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So man, um, like I said, I'm laying there, and you know now they working on me, and like I said, I'm still there. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, it's, it's like I'm, I'm it's like my body is outside my body type thing. Right. Right. And I'm seeing all this happy, you know, medical team, whatever they getting, you know, getting me to help me, whatever. And like I said, I go out, I go out again, and next thing you know, when I wake up, man, they had me, um, you know, in recovery with them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now my family and stuff right there. Right. And man, when I woke up, you know, when I woke up and seen that, I'm like, man, what, what happened? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And my, my, some of my folks, you know, tears. I mean, they was happy to see that I, I, Did I you woke made up. It? Yeah, yeah, I made it. And I woke up. I woke up now, and man, you know, I. So I, was, I ain't gonna lie, I was happy, you know what I mean? And right, right. You pulled Yeah, I was happy, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, 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 I made it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? 
I stayed in that hospital, man. I think for about what about two weeks. I think I stayed in uh, you know, recovery, the, the recovery uh, 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 block, block for like yeah, about two yeah, about two weeks. And then they finally sent me back to um, sent sent me back to Greenville, and then they put me in the hole, you know, along with everybody else, or whatever. But man, that was just one experience, man. I can I can wholeheartedly say, man, never in my life I, I have I have I ever been through or ever experienced or even. It was just one of them things, man. Right. And it's, it's something that you never even envisioned happening yeah. to you when you came, came to Came to penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then this is the, these these is the little odds and ends that people need to realize. Then you take all of that and we go right back to the beginning. First of all, all of this was over twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. You understand me? Twenty dollars. This is what when I say everything real in prison. Twenty dollars. <laughs> and then twenty dollars. Not only were all of it over twenty dollars. Then you know, like I say, this is something that you never really expected to happen. But then it won't even your beef. That was the whole thing. It won't even, it even his. That's what I'm saying. You don't know when it's coming, how it's coming, if it's coming. You just got to be prepared. This is the type of life that I'm telling you. you got to live in prison. So when they get out and they see people like I'm telling my sisters and all, and then I'm in, in places I'm in the restaurant or whatever, and I'm always like this and I'm always like that because this is how it is in there. And this stuff is in eight in you, cause like I say, he did twenty, so I did thirty three. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, man, this is this 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 is the type of things that can happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, you say people come in there and then don't nothing like this ever happen to them. But trust and believe me, other things do. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? But this is how worse it could get, and it could get worse than that. Yeah. So you talking about somebody who almost died for somebody else's beef yeah. that was only worth twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? And what's more ironic about it is he got stabbed, uh, Scotty got stabbed, stabbed. Um, Marvin got, got stabbed, Tay got stabbed too. Tay got stabbed, mm -hmm. um, uh, run, uh, 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 Shandu Dude got, died. Yeah, from he that. died from his stab wounds. Yep. He died and was going home in a couple of days. B ain't get stabbed. he ain't get stabbed. No, B ain't no, no, get stabbed. B yeah. got away. B yeah. the one because he hit in the trash can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna call him too, man. Once yeah, he look, comes look, look, look. Uh, what that dude named Dog got stabbed? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you talk about six. I remember or, Dog. Yeah, I remember six dog. or better people, people got, got stabbed. stabbed. And that whole one person life. died. Yeah. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. And like 20 I said, hours. and like I was telling you, man, that whole time, man, I I don't went doing that, doing when everything was going on, man. You just, you just, I just realized right then and there how much guys. Ate it. Oh, yeah. DC so let me back up. So let me moves. back up. Right, right. So now this is the part that I don't know if I told you about this when we got talking about, it, but this is the part right here that was crazy. So now me and, 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 and old boy, we finished gambling, so we come out, me and Daryl. Mm -hmm. So I see everybody running around, chaotic, chaotic. Like, what's going on? So I see dudes flocking to the yeah. salad port, salad port. Yeah. So I go down there and I'm trying to, you know, weed my way yeah, through. So yeah. when I weed through, I see y'all on the ground, and I see Psycho and Wes, right? And I don't really know Wes. I know Psycho a yeah. little bit, but I don't really know. Psycho was cool with Dixon, yeah. right? Yeah. So I don't really know Wes at all, but I see uh, Psycho. Now, that's another part to back up. Wes and Shandu get out of jail. Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to be in the, the last two they was waiting for. Before they make their move. Before they make their move. And exactly. They, that's what happened. I remember that then too. they get out. So yeah. now they got their mob together. And then See, they say, we're going to make their that, move. Not just that. Because they was also plotting and waiting for a couple of other DC cats to, to get moved off moved off the compound. Right. They was hoping. Like Black Black was another one. Black George. Right. B Black George was over there with us at the time. Right. But, right. But at the same time, uh, Black George had got moved back to uh, C. C. Right. 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 You see what I'm saying? So they was waiting for that sure, opportunity. They sure. was waiting for that opportunity. They, 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 they was waiting for that and, opportunity. And, and, and so, so when we out there, right, and I see everybody move to the side boy, so when I get out there and I see y'all, and I, like I said, I know Psycho a little bit because of the Dixon joke. When I first met him, he pulled up on me and was like, man, um, man, you Dixon brother. I said, yeah, what's up? He was like, oh, yeah, that's my dude. Right? He thorough, he solid, woo, woo, woo. That's how I met him, yeah. right? So when I look in there and I see y'all, then I look at them, and you like you remember like you said you was in the saddle over with the rich niggas, mm -hmm. and, and you had that, that you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So when I looked at them, that feeling, I was like, 
and we lock eyes and stuff. It's like, yeah, it ain't like that no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, because that joint like had me. I went in like a immediate zone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know what to say, but we like, and then they, the people was telling like, you say, come on, Ed. and then they start moving up. So then I turn around, and I peel back. So dude's like, what's happening? What's happening? And then I heard Joker holler out, um, oh, yeah, they they they, they, they got, got all the DC dude. dude. Yeah, they got out on the DC dude. And I <laughs> cracked out up in that joke. <laughs> I said, they doing what? Yeah. They said, they just gonna kill me. I said, I'm from DC, come kill me. Yeah. And I'm scrapped. Yeah. I'm scrapped like a Georgia ham. Yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah, I wish one of y'all yeah. would walk up to me. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. I forgot about this part. So when when when, when Marvin did come and holler at us, because like I say, Marvin, Marvin, when Marvin first moved in the park, Marvin let us know what time was off the jump. Off the rip. If you ain't with it, don't be around. This is this is this is this is, this is, this, is, this, is, this is what this is how it occurred. If you ain't with it. And that was another reason why I actually didn't take the knife out. Because I, I pretty much told mom, like, man, because I'm just meeting Marvin, really. Right, right, I heard right, about right, him, but right, I'm just meeting him. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? And you ain't want to commit to something, something that you yeah, don't really commit to. I'm like, man, I ain't with right, all that. Right. I, I'm not with all that. But little did you no, know exactly. that it don't matter. You it ain't matter. associated exactly. with it anyway. Because just they because, put me right with it. And they just because right of where you from. No, exactly. They put me. Thank you special. Yeah, pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's a name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.